Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to uh, Madhouse Studios. And my name is Bobby Baby Walker, and this is the Baby Love Music Hour. I guess we could call it the mu uh, Music Hour. Anyway, uh, I'm Bobby Baby Walker, and today we're going to work on, or oh, we're going to discuss modes. And um, the first thing that I like to say about modes is that the first mode is called the Iolian mode. And the Iolian mode is simply the major scale. Okay? It is the major scale. So, uh, if you were to take the key of C and go up C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C on your instruments. Okay? That is the C major scale. If we did say the D scale, right, which is the next one up from C, it will be D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. And it's still called the Iolian scale or the Iolian mode. Uh, so, the Iolian mode is the major scale in any key, all right? It's still called the Iolian mode. All right, so now if we went up one note and created a scale in this key of C using the second note of the scale, without altering it at, at any point, it's called the Dorian scale. And the Dorian will be D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and D. Okay, without no sharps or flats. So, I just did a D scale for you in Iolian mode and the D scale in Iolian mode has an F sharp and a C sharp. But we're not talking about the Iolian mode right now. We're talking about the Dorian. And every second note of every scale is you can build the Dorian scale or the Dorian mode in all scales, all right? Using the key signature of that particular key, all right? So if we were talking about, say, a G scale, right? The second note of the G scale is what? A. So if you started on A, and you went A, B, C, D, E, and as you know, the key of G has an F sharp. So it will be F sharp, G, okay? And then the A would repeat, okay? That would be the Dorian mode in the key of G. All right? That's built on the second degree of every scale. Okay? All right. Uh, next shot is uh, Janine, could you go to the next shot? Phrygian. Okay, if we went one step further, one step to the third degree of every scale, 
okay? The third degree is called the Phrygian mode. And remember, when we're talking about modes, each one of these uh, scales or no, uh, modes always take on the, uh, the accidentals, the sharps or flats of the key that they're in. Okay, so if you're uh, going for the Phrygian of G, right, which is the third degree of G, and you build a scale on that, you have to use the F sharp because the key of G has an F sharp in it. Okay? Okay. So if I asked you to build the uh, Phrygian in the key of F, right? The F scale has a B flat in it. So you will go to the third degree of B flat, uh, excuse me, of F, which is the A right and you build a scale starting on A you have to include the B flat of that scale all right so it'd be A B flat C D E F G A okay notice that I included the B flat all right um, okay, so the Phrygian is the third degree of every key. Every key, not every uh, uh, scale because there's different kinds of scales. The key, uh, the, the uh, okay, it's the third degree. So it's A, B, C, or one, two, three, up the scale, right? So if you go to any scale and you go one, two, three, you count the, the notes of the scale, one, two, three, that's where the Phrygian starts. If you're looking for the Dorian, you go one, two, and that's where the Dorian starts. If you're looking for the Iolian is the first note, and you build on that one, okay? Using the key signature. All right, we went through uh, how to find the key signature in previous lessons, so uh, you should know how to do that, and I will be at some point uh, reviewing that so that you can get some uh, review. Okay, the Lydian. Who can tell me what note that starts on? Okay, that's very good. It's on the fourth degree. We went one, the Iolian, two, the Dorian, three, the Phrygian, and four, the Lydian. Okay, so the Lydian starts on the fourth degree of every scale that, the, uh, every major scale, excuse me. Every major scale has a Lydian. Okay, so if we were in the key of C, again, which is the easiest key, no sharps, no flats, right? You start on F, it'd be F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and F again, okay? And it would not be C, D, E, F, G because that is the Iolian scale, right? You understand what I'm saying? C is in the key of C, all right, but we want to start on the fourth note of the scale, which is the F, all right? And they call that 
the Lydian scale, I mean mode. Okay? All right. So, moving right along. Next uh, shot. We would like to... Uh, Um, here we have the next note up, okay, which is the Mixolydian, right? The fourth degree is the Lydian. The fifth degree is the Mixolydian. And it starts, if we were using the key of uh, C, it starts on the note of G, all right? Because it's C, D, E, F, and G, the fifth degree, all right? Okay, so the fifth degree would be G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, okay? All right. Um, Um, okay, at some point I'm going to be singing these notes to you so you can hear what it sounds like. Um, but suffice it to say that this is actually a sort of mathematics of music. Okay? And if you learn it this way, it'll be easier to apply to the, to the sound. Okay? Um... The G to G, fifth degree. Hey, G to G, fifth degree. I like that. Anyway, then we go to the sixth degree, right? There's seven notes to the musical alphabet. We're going up the numbers, right? And we land on, after the fifth degree, we land on the sixth degree, okay? The sixth degree is where um, the minor scale starts, right? You remember that? We said that every major scale ha has a sixth degree and the sixth degree is where the minor scale of that key starts, all right? So in here we have what they call the Aeolian mode. Okay, you have an Iolian and an Aeolian. The sixth degree is the Aeolian. Okay? And of course, we know that the minor scale has three forms. And those forms are natural minor, which is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A in the key of C. The harmonic minor, which is A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp, A in the key of C. And the melodic minor, which is A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A, and then going back the other way, going down, it goes G natural, F natural, E, D, C, B, A. Okay? So going up, you sharp, the F and the G. And descending, coming back down, you leave them natural. You go back to the natural minor of the uh, scale. All right? That's in the key of C. And in every key, the uh, F sharp and the G sharp, rather the, the sixth and the seventh degrees are raised. Okay, so it may be uh, raised as a natural, 
if it was flat or raised as a sharp if it was natural okay all right then the last scale which is number what that's right number seven very good very good okay number seven is called the Locrian scale okay or um, mode excuse me I like the word scale <laughs> the Locrian mode and it starts on the seventh degree of the uh, major scale okay the major scale of C uh, its Locrian is starts on B all right because uh, C B right B is the last uh, note of the uh, the seven letters of the musical alphabet. So, anyway, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. All right. So you see that that these letters, as we go up. They follow a particular sequence, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B. Okay? Which means that they are in the same order as in the alphabet. I just want to point that out, okay? They are in the same order as the alphabet they just go over and over and over again all right so if you start on three you have to end up in three to make it a complete mode all right in this case it's seven right so you have to end up at the end on the seventh degree so it's c uh, excuse me b c d E, F, G, right? And then A, B, which is the seventh degree. Wow, this is all rhyming. Oh, it's gonna mess up my head. Okay, uh, so as you can see, we have the Iolian mode, which is the every major's uh, scale. The Dorian mode, which is the second degree of every major scale. You have the Phrygian mode, which is the third degree of every mode, as a major scale. Uh, the fourth degree is called the Lydian of every major scale. The fifth degree is called the Mixolydian, and it's on in every major key. The Aeolian mode is the sixth degree of every major scale. The Locrian mode is the seventh degree of every major scale and then uh, you return back to the Iolian which is the eighth all right the eighth degree it goes back to the A Iolian mode okay which is number one again all right it's either number one or number eight going up is number eight coming back is number one all right okay so hopefully uh, we covered what you need to know uh, about the modes if you have any questions you can call me at 914-400-5670 okay 
Um, if you get a brainstorm at 3 o'clock in the morning, please don't call me, okay? Uh, wait, a, wait a little while. <laughs> All right. So, now what I'd like to do is talk about transposition. All right? So, we're going to use the Iolian mode to do transposition. Okay? So, if you have... A C scale and you want to transfer the key to let's say the F scale all right the way you do that is like this the one the first note of the C scale will be the first note of the F scale the second note of the C scale will be the second note of the F scale. The third note of the C scale will be the third note of the F scale, and so on and so forth. And this holds true in every major key, okay? Every major key is like that. So, if I was, uh, um, Trans, I wanted to transfer, say somebody could not sing in the key of C, right? So you needed to make it a little higher. So you change it to starting on F. It's F, G, A, B, B flat, C, D, uh, E, F. All right, so it's F to F and C to C. So you change, take the C's all the. Let me let me rephrase that. You take the numbers of the scale and transfer them to the numbers of the new scale. Okay, so you have to know what number of the scale a particular note is. So, uh, Janine, could you uh, uh, give me the last uh, uh, slide? Okay. Here we have the degrees of the scale, right? And their modes, okay? So, if I took the mode of Dorian, Dorian mode, right? I wanted to transfer it to the key of G, all right? G, the key of G has one sharp, right? Okay, so if it has one sharp, then you have to use that sharp when you create the Dorian mode. So it would be um, the key of G is up here, right? G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? F sharp, G. So the Dorian of G would be A. So it's A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G and A. All right. So we went up seven plus one, which is starts the sequence again. All right. So um, that would have been the Dorian of the key of G. All right. And you do that the, the same way to. Uh, transpose from one key to another all right you guitar players and um, keyboard players need to learn that okay very important because people will call on you frequently to know what key they are performing in 
All right, so you have to know this backwards and forwards. Okay, so we understand the concept of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Not, <laughs> not particularly hard, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you've done this before, okay? All right. Um, then, uh, I think we're going to go to commercial. And when we come back, I'm going to go over a piece of music and uh, we're going to analyze it a little bit, okay? And we'll be right back. Stretching under sedation or manipulation under anesthesia is a very gentle, very precise procedure to very slowly release any scar tissue that has formed as a result of a traumatic injury. Many people ask, how does this work? Will I get hurt? Will you stretch me too far? We only stretch the body part to its normal range of motion. After completing the post-MUA rehabilitation program, it's very common that our patients say to us, hey, I can play ball with my kid again. Hey, I can bowl again. Hey, I can enjoy hiking again. This is what makes it rewarding to us as practitioners. I think this is a good time to tell you. You're doing okay, Mom. I can call you Mom, right? I know we haven't known each other very long, but you seem like a real keeper. You're not perfect. There was that strained carrots incident, but you're trying. You pick up my bottle every time I toss it out of my stroller. That's high comedy to an eight-month-old. You hum the Barber of Seville when you wash my hair. So cool. <laughs> and your rubdowns are out of this world. Anyway, I want you to know how much I appreciate you. You know, right? How much I love you? You're doing okay, Mom. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Madhouse Studios. This is the Baby Love Music Hour. Okay, um, we're doing mathematical music. <laughs> and I know you all love this, right? It's so interesting. Okay, so we've been working on the seven degrees 
of the major scale and their names, okay? Now we're gonna talk about the sounds, all right, before we move on. Okay, so the Dorians, and I, I use this key of C primarily because there are no flats or sharps to trip you up, okay? If you don't know the other scales, okay? Just know that this is written in stone, okay? This applies to every major scale, okay? Okay. Um, the Dorian scale, I mean mode, uh, I like the name scale. <laughs> the Dorian mode of every major scale should sound like this. Well, every major scale should sound like this. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. All right? Every Dorian uh, scale should be or sound like Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, Re, Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do, Re, Re, right. <laughs> it doesn't go down to Do, okay? The Phrygian of every scale should sound like this. Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi, Mi, Re, Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi. All right. The next one is F, which is the Lydian mode. Okay. So it's. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Fa, Mi, mi Re, Do, Ti, La, So, Fa. Okay? That's the Lydian mode. The next one will be the Mixolydian, all right? So you got to mix it up with the Mixolydian number five, all right? Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, right? Uh, Mixolydian starts on So, So, La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do, Ti, La, So. Okay, that's the mix Olydian. Okay, then we have the Aeolian. Here we have it as the Hyperdorian. Okay, but it is the Aeolian. Okay, I'm not sure um, what uh, discipline within music the hypo uh, comes from, except for different uh, combinations of scales that you can do. And I believe that's why they call it a hypo, Dorian. But I know it as the Aeolian. It's easier for me to call it the Aeolian. And it starts on the key of A. Right? So, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La. Right? So, La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, so, la, la, so, fa.
fa mi re do ti la and you know what i should be pointing with my pen <laughs> my pointer but you get my drift right okay so that's the aeolian scale and how many scales uh, uh, are associated with the aeolian scale three all right we're just gonna stick right now to the natural minor which is the aeolian scale all right all right the next one is the hypophrygian which i know as the locrian okay the locrian okay the locrian is the seventh degree of the scale and if you go up to the seventh degree do re mi fa so la ti all right that's where it starts ti do re mi fa so la ti la so fa mi re do ti okay and then obviously the eight or the one it goes right back to do all right and this is um what they call the t do effect t do t do and then do re mi fa so la ti do all right but there is a t do when you have a half step going to a, a regular step it's called t do all right it's a t do effect and they use that a lot in music to uh, to uh, modulate from one key to another well you learn that later on okay so then the locrian goes right back to the uh, Aeolian. Here they have it as the Hypolydian. Okay? But this is really the Aeolian. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. Okay, so now you have the sounds that are associated with each one of these scales, all right? Um, if you have a piano at home, I would like you to practice just going up and down the scale, the C scale, and learning the sound of the modes because you'll need that later on when you start soloing, etc. You know, you'll be able to use, like for instance, the Dorian mode is a very popular uh, soloing uh, mode. A lot of musicians, jazz musicians particularly, use it a lot, okay? And so, it's true of all the uh, modes. They're good for soloing on a particular chord or whatever. And um, it's good to know. Okay, um, Janine, could I have the next and the, I believe it's the last. Uh, okay, this is a piece of music in the key of G, right? This is, has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight bars okay and this one has um this is an anacrusis all right anacrusis means that they started it on the last beat of the scale i mean of the uh bar 
So somewhere along the, in the piece, it's going to be made up. Okay? And where is it made up here? Down here in the last bar. Okay? So this is one, two, three. Okay? They call it an anacrusis. All right. Um, what I want to do is have you look at this piece of music and tell me what degrees of the scale um, these uh, uh, notes are if you were to transpose it to a different key like C, right? So in G, in the key of G, this B is what note? What number note? G is G, A, B. So it's G, A, B. B is the note. So if you take, it's the third note of G. So if you want to transpose it to the key of C, you start on C, D, E. Okay? The third note of C is E. So E and B. All right? B in, G, in the key of, of G and uh, E in the key of C. All right? Now, try to bear with me. It sounds basically the same when you transpose, okay? The only difference is that it starts on a different degree than the original, okay? Let me repeat that. It starts on a different degree. Like, for instance, we just saw that the three of B the third note of the key of, of, excuse me, the three of the key of G is E in the key of C. And they sound basically the same when you go to the next note. All right? It's just built on a different uh, degree. Okay? So here we have... In the key of G, we have a D sharp, okay? So let's assume that this D sharp is just D, okay? Let's first deal with it as D, okay? So in the key of C, uh, it's G, the key of D is number five, right? So it's G, A, B, C, and D. Okay? It's number five. So now, if we put the sharp on it, it's sharp five. Okay? Okay, so let's go back to the key of C now. And find five in C. Okay? C, D, E, F, G. Okay? So, in the key of C, G is number 5. So, we have to put that sharp on it to make it sharp 5. Okay? And you write that in. So, a B up here and a G sharp down here. Okay? Very good. You, you, you're following very well. Okay, so um, we will go to the next note, which is an E. All right? In the key of G, E is number six. Okay? Oh. <laughs> Okay, number six, and in the key of C, number six 
is A. Okay? And so on and so forth. So if you take a pencil or pen, right, and you number the notes that you want to transpose, and then you go to, a, to the new key and you number those, I mean, you, you write it up, you put the numbers underneath the scale, and then uh, the staff, I mean, and just uh, duplicate what is in the new one, uh, the first one, and you will have your transposition. Okay, we will go to commercial, and we'll be right back. I'm here for Multimedicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we 15 years. We do a vast years. array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching to help her with her pain. Vicky is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicky is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy, please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000 or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. I think this is a good time to tell you. You're doing okay, Mom. I can call you Mom, right? I know we haven't known each other very long, but you seem like a real keeper. You're not perfect. There was that strained carrots incident, but you're trying. You pick up my bottle every time I toss it out of my stroller. That's high comedy to an eight-month-old. You hum the Barber of Seville when you wash my hair. So cool. 
and your rub downs are out of this world. Anyway, I want you to know how much I appreciate you. You know, right? How much I love you? You're doing okay, Mom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And unfortunately, I don't have time to continue the lesson. Uh, so we're going to take it up in two weeks. And we're going to welcome uh, Renee Marie back when she comes back next week. And so um, I just want to say thank you for viewing us. And I'm going to go out with a song. Ha uh ha. -huh. This is by The Temptations. Sun shining, there's plenty of light. New day is dawning, sunny and bright. But after I've been crying all night, sun is cold and the new day seems cold. Since I lost my baby, oh, since I lost my baby. Forces are pain. Not a sad word should the one heart be saved. What is a home and the suffering is grown? Since I lost my baby, oh, since I lost my baby, next time I'll be kinder. Won't you please help me find her? Someone just remind her Of this love she left behind her Till I find her I'll be crying now Every day I'm going Find her, find her, ain't kind to Find her, ain't kind to Find my baby I'm looking everywhere Baby I really, really care Oh, determination is fading fast Desperation seems to turn all the time I can't see how my hope's gonna last Something has happened and what's happening is sad Since I lost my baby I feel so bad, yeah, feel so sad, every day is a hard way, this heart is hard to carry on, Ooh, since I lost my baby. Have a nice week. We'll see you next in two weeks.